Okay guys, I have not done a video in a long long time, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to make one. So I figured, let's do one on how to configure your Wii remotes with Dolphin for both the Mac and the PC. That way, no one's asking how to do it for the different operating systems. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to dolphin-emulator.com and click on the download. And then pick it for your relevant OS. So the 64 bit is 32 bit for Windows Macintosh. If it's Macintosh, it'll be 64 bit by default. Now, once you've got it, you'll have this folder once it's all extracted. And for PC, you simply just double click on the dolphin.exe and then this will come up. So, for Wii remotes, you're probably going to need Wii remotes. So, I've just got a couple here. And also, I've just loaded up. You had a DMG on your Mac, you extract it. Well, no, you mount it and then you get it here as well. So on Mac you just go Wiimote, and then on here you just go Wiimote, if it makes you feel better you can say it like I just did. Now we just configure it, I will only configure one Wii Remote for this. So make sure it's under real, not emulated, and effectively you want to pair it up. But um, you need a Bluetooth device for your PC, so that little tiny thing there flashing is my Bluetooth dongle. It costs like a dollar off dealextreme.com if you're okay for three week shipping. Now simply you'll press one and two to synchronize your remotes but first you have to say pair up on here so click now press one and two and it will flash. Now generally speaking it's much more annoying to synchronize the remotes with a PC than it is with a Mac. Mac is just works perfectly for it. I'm not being a fanboy but I'm just saying it how it is it's a pain in the ass to it on the PC, it takes a bit of trial and error, but eventually it will work. Okay, so, yay, device installed successfully. Now I can click pair up again. Now it's just a bit of Russian roulette, you just keep trying, and it can be a very tedious, frustrating thing, but eventually, it should work. And you'll know it's, you're onto something when the remote vibrates or something. I'll just have one more shot and then I'll have to cut the video, say a few bad words and then I'll try again off camera until I get it to work. But it says the device is now ready to use, so now I say pair up and now I press one and two again. <coughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay. Refresh. Oh wait, yes, it's a miracle. Okay, I just pressed refresh and now I have a synced remote to my PC. So this one is going to just kind of lie there. And then I've got my second remote. Now this is much easier in general. Check your setting is only for one Wii remote. I don't want a second Wii remote, so none. And I don't want that there. So just number one here. And then I'm just simply going to click refresh. So press one and two and click. And that actually did work. It's just I have to do it again. But it's so much easier. Alright, well, I don't know about you, but that felt a lot easier than the PC version. So for this now, I can double click my Mario game and wait for it. Surprisingly incident free. Now, you can use infrared if you've got an infrared thing, which is a Wii sensor. Just get a third party one. So, as you can see, it's working. So now, I can go over here, and I can be like, yeah, cool, man. And now I double click it here as well, and this one should start up. Oh, control F for full screen. No, nah, fuck that. Just do full screen, and here we go. Oh, that's a bit loud. So, there you go. I have it all working now. The guy on my left is about to die, but you get the idea, and it works pretty epically. So if I get this remote here, 
my it, it runs in full frames per second. And then I have this computer, which also runs in full frames per second. So I can be like, I'll, I'll try and do this. It's probably going to fail. All right, this would go on for yeah. Okay, it's a little bit easier when I got two hands on remote. But yeah, you get the idea. So that's all there is to it. Now you can configure your graphics how you want. It's pretty easy. And generally, you just click graphics. And you can just lower it or put them up more and do a bit of trial and error until it runs perfectly for you. But this is a MacBook Pro and it only has an on-board graphics card, so it's nothing special at all. Yeah, as you can see, it runs it perfectly. So, enjoy your Dolphin emulator and obviously just get your ISOs off torrents or legit dumps of your own games, whatever you feel like doing. Have fun and comment or whatever if you need any questions answered.